Hello all, today we'll be seeing another security scan in GitLab so, and how to do integrate that with the GitLab uh, pipeline. So for that uh, we'll be using SAST and the SAST particularly is SEMgrep uh, scan uh, for use for SAST by GitLab. So let's get started. Again I have the same uh, pipeline uh, YAML file which I have uh, explained for the container scan. So again uh, we need a test stage uh, particularly for these scans. So and uh, once that is there uh, you just need to include one more uh, template just like we uh, include a template for container scan we need to include this scan this security uh, security slash uh, sas.gitlab ci.yml uh, which will uh, try uh, and uh, it will run the semgrep scan uh, over the sas scan now again it is very very important to note like uh, it should have the source code uh, generally i mean uh, your your source code will be uh, javascript or uh, node.js uh, .net uh, solution or maybe uh, java or various other kinds of source code so for our use case although we are not using any uh, source code so i've just uh, committed with this vulnerable.js and uh, put some javascript function here just for the sas function because uh, it doesn't need any kind of compilation and all and it will detect at runtime and all the source code that will be scanned for the a particular files js java etc and it will provide the sas uh, solution or provide the vulnerability report based on that so let's let's commit this so uh, in addition to the container scan now i have added sas scan to the pipeline okay so it has uh, started running we can see uh, currently in the pending stage and we can say it has started in the build stage so i'll not go through all the stages again and again but i'll just go through the same grep sas uh, which is particularly for the SAS. So let's wait until it reaches there. Okay, cool. So let's go to some grab SAS. And we can see it has uh, picked up the GitLab runner, which is not our self hosted one, but in fact, uh, provided from the GitLab runner. It is preparing the Docker machine executor and it is downloading the image from the registry, which is some grab uh, and the version is 6. This is particularly for the SAS. Okay, so we can see it has gone through our source code. Uh, analyzer has run that. And uh, I mean, if you want to put some rule set for the customization on, of uh, report and all on no, what all reports to what all files to ignore and all, so you can customize those things with the help of rule set. But we'll run, we'll be running default on all the files it is able to find. So we can see uh, it has passed and it has created a report called GL SAS report .json. and it has one finding actually. So let's uh, the scan the scan summary says that it has one finding. It has gone through 96 rules. Uh, it has find one JS language and uh, one file is there and similar data is find yaml with one rule and files so let's see that uh, let's go back it's still running so in the meantime let me go to the artifact and show you what it has generated so we'll go to some uh, okay so we have moved to sas now we can go to uh, to uh, artifact section here so if you want to uh, download the artifact you can just uh, download it and check it so suppose i download it here and we can see it as uh, this is the YAML uh, of the vulnerability that has displayed uh, what, is, what is the current vulnerability and all. So it has found only one vulnerability we can see as of now it is this is of severity high and this is uh, again it is uh, named as improper neutralization of directives in dynamically evaluated code. Eval injection is the uh, part uh, in the source code which is causing this and the scan is using this URL particularly analyzer semgrep for the scanning. Yeah you can go through the other details so I'll just go to uh, my job okay let's go to the security again so now i already know like uh, these all two cvs were from the container scan so uh, vulnerable.js is the actual one which is having high severity and because of which uh, i mean we can see uh, the vulnerability is split and it is also report type is sas we can understand from here so let's open it for the description and we can uh, see which is again because of the eval function which we have using the in the javascript file and uh, we can just go through all those examples on how to fix that and what is the fix for that what is uh, what is the identification for that how they have identified what is the cwe for this uh, these things and we can go through uh, all the stuff here more about the vulnerability and all so it is more about the input validation and all so if you go to our js file here in the source code let me go to source code and also uh, where is the eval function which is what's causing this issue uh, so i'll go to repository so eval function let's find the eval so the eval function is here 
here it is like uh, with the input it is uh, creating with the user input it is creating the required vulnerability 